Surface area of this rectangular prison. Surface area is actually just knowing what the area, total area of your net, of your flat 2D figure. So to get the area, you have to know the dimensions. So when we measure the dimensions of the rectangular prison, this is a 10 centimeter length. The width is five centimeters okay and the height is five centimeters so if i want to get the area of this rectangle alone what do i do length times width so five times ten is a 50 cm squared you notice that this rectangle is the same with all of this so you're also a 50 centimeters squared. You're also 50 square centimeters. You're also 50 square centimeters. So all, I all I need to know is the area of these two squares. But I know the edge is 5. So the side area will be 5 times 5, which is 25 cm squared. You're also 25 cm squared. Surface area is simply adding all of these area. For these four rectangles, for the four rectangles, We have 50 times 4, which is 200 square centimeters. And then for the two squares, we have 25 times 2. That's going to be 50 centimeters squared. If you add 250, we have 250 square centimeters. This is now called the total surface area that means the area around this 3d figure the area around this 3d figure is 250 square cent centimeter a square centimeter is that big cm squared you have you need 250 of this to cover up all of this surface area of a cube we know a cube is made up of six congruent faces. I open it up, and this is your net. So if I measure my cube, an edge has a measurement of 10 centimeters. So if I want to know the area of this part, 10 by 10 is 100 centimeters. I know this is 100, but they are all congruent. So you're also 100 square centimeters. 100 square centimeters, 100 square centimeters, 100 square centimeters, and 100 square centimeters. So what do I do? I simply get 100, the area of 1 square, times 6 is 600 square centimeters. That means the area around this cube to cover up the whole cube, I need 600 square centimeters. That means a square centimeter, I need 600 of this to cover up this cube. Surface area of a triangular prism. So if I want to know the area around it, I open it up as a net. And from my net, I could see these figures. It's made up of three congruent squares and two congruent triangles so if you measure the squares each side is 10 centimeters i want to know the area of one square i multiply side times side so the whole thing is 100 cm squared you're also 100 because you're congruent you're also 100 because you're congruent now to get the area of a triangle remember the area of a triangle is one half base times height so one half the base here is still 10 and my height if you measure it it'll be 8 8 
centimeters. So if you multiply that, you're going to have 80 over 2, which is 40. 40 centimeters squared for one triangle. So let me put that. You're a 40 square centimeter. You're also a 40 square centimeter. Total surface area is equal to 100 times 3 is 300. 40 times 2 is 80. Add them up. We have 380 square centimeters. Meaning, this triangular prism, if I want to cover the whole surface, will need 380 square centimeters.